What is up guys, Trayman5 here, and today I'm going to show you how to get Windows 7, 8, any key that's listed on this site for half off, more even even more than half. This site is called GodKey.net. Now, when you get here, you first want to make an account, of course, so you don't have to later on. After that, you're going to want to search down here. Oh, Adobe software, nice. You can, it has lots of keys, but today we're going to do Windows 7. So, Windows 7 key, you have any options from a special pack one to regular to upgrade. So, we're going to do regular Windows 7, home premium, and bam, we got it. And it's $21.99. That's all I paid for this. Well, I used my dad's credit card and he allowed it. If, yeah, just saying, he allowed it. I'm not kidding you. And when you order it, you can also have the choice to get a download link for this for 32 bit or 64 bit or USB installer. I didn't choose any of those, but I did get a download link for 64 bit, and I'll tell you why after I tell you the details. Okay, this can be used for 32 bit, it's 64 bit, supports all languages, support update, 4 gigabyte installers in system USB disk. Oh, excuse me, I'm having a mountain do right now. One key for one computer. When you reinstall the operating systems or application software in the same computer, you can use the same key to activate again. This is not for trial, OEM, beta, and non genuine versions. This key is 100% genuine. They are right, and they are wrong about the OEM. Because this is a pirated, yes, pirated 32 bit operating system, and it was an OEM system. Now, I am going to show tell you how I got the 64 bit down link. When I got the key, I put it in as in change product key. It wouldn't work. Yes, it wouldn't work. So I emailed them about it. They said, Oh, since it's not a retail version, you you will send you a link. So that's how I got the 64 bit. I you got another hard drive that I had around the house. I installed the 64 bit on the other hard drive because my I did a system check my computer actually take it and then after doing that it said that it wouldn't work still so I emailed them about that and then boom they told me oh well you should activate over the phone then so I did it their phone service from Microsoft was not excellent but it was good so after I did that I did everything you told me to do and boom it's it became genuine so after that, I go I go on this computer, oh, on this operating system, on my big hard drive, and it said OEM in the product ID. So I hit change product key, and what do you know? Boom! It's now genuine. Their keys actually work. I'm oh whoopsie. The keys actually work. I'm not kidding you. Cause if you guys know me, if you've seen my videos before. Then you know I'm not lying. I am not. I don't do that. I find that really stupid. Like when people say on, on like when you download iTunes generators, code div card generators. If you do try to, and you're like, oh, no passwords, but you have a share cache. Do you have to download from or fileize? Or it's like, oh, you don't have to download note surveys. Either they do have a survey and they're lying bitches, or you don't, but there's still a password on the fucking file. I don't lie to you, not invertly. Or directly to you. I don't do that. This is all. I can't. I don't know if it's legal. I hope so. But hell, I pirated Windows 7. Who gives a fuck anymore? But still, it's now genuine. And who cares if it isn't legal? Cause the guy's getting money. We get what we want at low prices. Everyone wins. But let's try the Windows download link. I want to see this. I'm sorry, guys. Oh, yep. I got mine for free, but you can get a download link for $19.99. Let me try Adobe since this had Adobe keys. Okay. Still in the hundreds. God damn. Let's try Adobe software. So 
Sorry guys, this is a test. Test. Probably not. Knew it. Okay guys, that, that, that test is over. The site is legit. I'm not kidding you. They, it, I, all the other sites I went to, they look so fake. But the thing that got me was when I went on the site I searched for Windows 7, it said it had live oh live support. I'm like, oh, so this is probably a company. If hopefully it works with Microsoft then. So it, it must be legit then. Some me so many people on the internet say no, it's not legit, it's illegal. I'm like, I don't care. As long as they get a working key that makes it genuine, I'm fine. Cause if yeah, plus if they were illegal, they'd probably be shut down by now. And this site will probably be shut down. I don't know if, the, if there's one guy controlling all the sites, but still, it'll probably be shut down. This is the guys. Get on this site if you need to actually get a working product key you pirated, which saved you a ton of money if you pirated Windows 7, no matter what version. But you want a working key, so you actually have um, something to, uh, I guess, be enjoyful about. I don't know what. I'm trying to say about that right now. Oh no! But after that, they stopped supporting Microsoft XP, Windows XP. I I had to upgrade so bad because I have I have Windows Media Center, Windows XP Media Center. Damn it! Hassle. Didn't really work with my TV tuner card. I had to keep reinstalling the drivers. But this. Oh, I love Windows Seven. I'm so glad my computer can take it. I have a Dell Dimension E520. So, seriously, guys, if you want a key at freaking half the price, basically, you can get this for $21.99. Though they should stop selling XP keys and just go and down. They don't need to anymore. But thank you guys for watching, like, subscribe, add to your favorites, and I'll see you later.